Okay, I'm going to look at the garden cell movement now and I want to explain the principle of multi vector force and how we apply it with the garden cell. Go through all of them, of course. The idea is that if you imagine, as Chu Chongqing people understand already, if you imagine that the joints are like a ball, a marble inside your shoulder. Now, there's three vectors it can turn through. If I put a screw through my shoulder here, that would happen. We'll ignore that vector for now. And just look at if I put a screw here, then there's that motion. If I put a screw through the top, there's this motion that spins the bone like so if I spun the screw out right there. Now, with Gan if I think of force, I push in the one direction, that means I've braced and pushed in one direction, and it can be stopped easier. Easy because the other person can brace against it. So for example, if I'm pushing in one direction, Lewis can feel that direction and him being strong to me, if I put all my weight there, I can't move him down. If you break it down to the vectors that are actually being used, which is this one and this one, and if I try and do those two together, it's worthwhile practicing this one, so you get just that boat spinning first. Once you feel you can do that, then combine that one. And then what happens is this. 